So let's talk about the passing game, and then we'll work our way up to the to the run game, the split stretch, uh, in a second. Devin, mm. K. McNamara is going to play 75-80% of these snaps at least, right? So he's, mm. he's your quarterback. So a lot of fans are saying, well, hey, he just has to do what Bryce Young did. Now, I, you hope <laughs> – Devin, 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 I'm just giving you what the fans Oh, they can see my face. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, they can see your face. I'm giving you what the fans are saying. Now, well, hey, he threw 400 plus shots. This is how you got to beat him. When that is, you can hope for that. I'm saying you can hope for that. And if it happens, you celebrate it. Man, that's an amazing performance. But as the, the coaching staff, they can't plan that. They can't plan that, right? But you are, to the fans' point, going to need more in this game than you get typically in the throw game. So how do you expect or how can K. McNamara, assuming they come out in the same way that they came out against Bama, how can, how do you see him being effective against that sort of that sort of scheme, that sort of strategy? The one thing that I think Georgia will do, this is, I think that they will, they will get up in the receivers' faces, right, and force perfect throws because it, it, as much as, you know, you would think like, oh, well, he's not a good runner, but he's just super accurate. He hasn't been super accurate. He's been he's been ac- inaccurate in a lot of different spots, and so I think that they will they will make a make it a point to reroute and and get in the face of the receivers. But on the backside, they tend to leave guys very very soft, right? So to the field, right? And and, and I think they'll do that even more than, than they usually do, just because of the, the arm strength of of, of McNamara and and him not being able to have haven't proven that he can make those backside throws. So I think that uh, we're going to have to use we, – we've run the bench quite a bit, right, with timing routes, and our receivers have learned really how to run routes and get open, and we're going to have to do that. It's going to be ha- based off of timing because uh, Cade hasn't shown that he's going to drop back and read the defense and, and dice everybody up like everybody wants him to do. But he has shown that he can make t- throws on time when he knows where he's going with the ball. All right, so I think it's going to be up to Gaddis to make sure he devises a plan to not isolate Cornelius Jones, right? Get him on one-on-one routes and, and create one-on-ones for him so that he can run and, and make plays. And, and the more he does that, the more he loosens up, maybe uh, Georgia will dedicate an extra guy over there, and then it'll open up the middle of the field a little more and, and give a little few more opportunities. So, uh, you know, when he says – they come out and they, they're giving you a lot of two man looks, uh, Al. I'm I'm thinking tight ends in the middle of the field. I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's going to be some, especially with how much their linebackers are going to react to run. It feels like this is a game that Eric All and Mike Schumacher could maybe have some some effectiveness in the middle of the field. Give me give me your attack scheme or your attack plan if you see in the passing game. If you see the the deployment that you saw against uh, the Georgia defense, like they deployed against Bama, yeah, if they're playing man to man, you're going to get some multiple crossing routes because they have it in their offense. They'll do it. You're, you're going to get some picks, some rub routes, those types of things, which Michigan has used. Uh, I think Devin's right. I think they got it. They got to use some quick rhythm throws. That's what he's best at. Right. That's his back. He is. He is a. He is not a bad downfield thrower. Thrower if he gets man to man coverage. He's not as good against zone, but what he does do well against zone is he picks at the underneath guys, slants, sticks, things like that, smash routes. He can get rid of the football and and do some things on some early downs in particular, I think, just have change moves. Because you got to understand in this game, I think both defenses are thinking the same. I think Georgia and Michigan are saying, we're going to make the quarterback beat us. We mm-hmm. can't get the ball run on us. Mm-hmm. I bet you Michigan's thinking the same thing about Stetson Bennett. So if the quarterback's got to beat you, you got to get things the quarterback can do well. And I think the things that Cade does well is the quick rhythm throws, some play passes, again, knowing that not all your shots are going to hit, but if just some of those bombs land, it may be enough to win the game. But yeah. I think that's that's Cade McNamara. And I think anything out of that realm is going to be asking him to do something that I don't think he's as good at. He's got to hit some – he got to hit a few shots, though. Oh, no doubt. In, in I, this game. I told you the other day on the radio is he doesn't have to hit them all, mm-hmm. okay? He doesn't have to do what Bryce Young did because I'm telling you what's not being talked about enough is that Georgia's offense is going to be challenged by defense, uh, Michigan's defense. They're mm-hmm. going to have to score points to win this game, okay? And I'm not 100% sure they're going to. That being said is does he need to score 40 points to beat Georgia? I don't think he does. 
just my opinion. I think what he's got to do is hit enough shots, not necessarily 400 yards passing, hit his quick rhythm throws, run the ball respectably, take care of it like they have going into this game. And they that, to me, is the formula for winning the game. Yeah, little known stat, Devin. Michigan leads the country in plays. Of 50 plays. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's incredible, which tells you something. Maybe it's not as bad as everybody thinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Devin can't That's some long runs in there. <laughs> Devin cannot help himself. <laughs>